Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk You With video. The drone industry is becoming stagnant and here's the reasons why. Stagnant. Jesus. The first reason. Yes, repeated technology. You know, in the past years, couple of years, we've seen new drones and even though they get, you know, they are improved each year, we kind of see always the same technology marketed differently. And we've come to a point where brands are actually copying each other functions, um, software, pretty much everything. I remember the first time we saw a consumer foldable drone. That was a big, big hit. That was something really new. We've seen in the past months also some big companies, let's say the two or three big companies that are out there uh, competing, but they are fighting around specs. You know, they are trying to enhance specs for less price and that's fair and that's good, but we haven't seen a big, big innovation eruption in the past times. So um, this is something you really have to keep an eye on. The second one. Yes. Wow. We have lost that kind of, wow, this is amazing from people watching footage and overall in the drone business. I remember when I started filming people in my family, friends were going like crazy for, oh my God, this is just amazing. I never saw that. But by now pretty much everyone has seen footage. Everyone has had one of those drones near and has maybe, you know, pilot them. And this wow has gone and it's too soon yet because the industry is pretty new, but that surprising effect is gone. And this is something really, really big. We've seen that in when you're doing projects for some customers or clients, for example, Chivo, he does weddings and he told me that um, a couple of years ago when he brought a drone to a wedding, everyone was like, oh my God, look at this. And it was it cost really extra money and it was something really amazing to have a drone in a wedding. Right now, if you go to a wedding, a drone is almost a must. The customer is gonna, you know, for sure include that in the budget and people are not getting amazed anymore when seeing the drone flying over them. The third one, yes, the market share according to the drone market sector by Skylogic Research DJI has now today in October 2018 up to 74% of the market share of the drone market share. This means that when you want to purchase a drone today, you start with a DJI drone probably when looking on the internet and all the other companies are like alternatives to DJI, you know, my freak company, some kind of apart from the real industry. No, just kidding, just kidding. For example, we have Zero Tech, which is Zero Technology. They are good drones though, but you're gonna start from, a, the starting point will be DJI. And if you go around anything, any kind of business in the world, you'll see that there are always a couple or at least three different um, big companies competing inside that business. If you go for motorbikes or you go for cars or you go for cameras, you always have really big alternatives and in the end you're gonna choose by what you really like more or less. I thought that Parrot was made out of parrots. Right now, 74% of market share is not really something that allows us to have some competition. And that of course will mean to the final customer, as we've told you like a million times here, that they may not be getting yet the best things. We are very positive that in the following years we'll have some competition for DJI and this will be positive. And people believe that DJI stands for Dajiang, but it really is drone jokes investment. Fourth, yes, do you know that amazing sunset you get when you drive outside your home a little bit to the cliff? Yeah, forbidden. Do you know that amazing landscape when you fly on top of the mountains where you usually go? Yes, forbidden too. And do you know that ugly, fuzzy place, dark and smugly that you never filmed? You can film there. We agree that close to airports and some protected areas, it should be forbidden to fly. But come on, guys, you're destroying the whole industry with those laws. And the fifth one. Yes, you're right. We're getting more and more punched by the governments for that too. And in the US, you know that Trump is applying that. And if the US does this, we here in Europe are gonna do that probably 
it is likely that we're gonna do it in the future too. So um, for the future, this means that you have to pay a lot of money for a drone, more than its real value. And second, of course, if you don't want to pay that money, you'll have to buy a drone in the dark, dark web. But we didn't want to finish this video out just by doing and saying bad things. We also want to tell you five reasons why we believe that it's not being stagnant. It's not becoming stagnant. Stagnant. Jesus. First one, yes, the value for money. You have to remember that for a little bit more than 1000 bucks or 2000 if you're buying a Phantom, something like that, you have a really, really good value. And you have to remember that this kind of technology, when you wanted to do some kind of footage like this, two or three or four or five years ago, you had to rent an helicopter, ask for thousands of permissions and stuff, hire someone that could film right now for 1000, 2000 bucks, you can do it yourself, have fun doing it, and it will become eventually your hobby too. Second one, yes, it is really easy to use. Anyone can fly a drone these days. They do hover, you have waypoints, you have rotation of the camera, you have pretty much everything. So you don't need to be an amazing artist right now to do awesome footage, right, Chibo? The third one. Yes, the new job opportunities. Look at here at Chibo and me. Who would have thought a couple of years ago that would be doing a living on drones and on YouTube? This would just be, you could never imagine or believe that. And not only that, and people doing on YouTube videos and reviews, but also all kind of jobs outside manufacturing the drones actually. And for example, I have a friend also that is uh, creating plastic pieces for changing a phantom camera and putting a thermography camera by Sony or whatever. There's so many new jobs that have been created. It's just unbelievable. Chivo, Chivo, look at this. Who needs a fucking iRobot when you have a drone and a Swiffer? Number four, yes, more types of jobs or industries. We've seen that these little drones, they started for doing, you know, they were like created for uh, cinema shootings, photo shootings and all that. But we have seen them, as I was telling you before, in a lot of different industries. Agriculture, it helps a lot to people that work on the fields. Uh, for people in the governments doing topography and thermography and for construction buildings, train, rails, whatever you need, the drones will help you a lot. Number five. Yes, just imagine like three, four, five years ago, you took a wallet full of money or a case full of money, 2000 bucks, you put it inside and then you start throwing it around. And you go all crazy and scared like, oh my God, this is gonna crash. If you had a drone by that time and you didn't have sensors, you were like really, really scared that the thing would be just lost or crashed into a wall or into a tree or something. It was really, really, I remember with the Phantom 2 that was thing. And even Chivo told me a story that his boss once uh, crashed a Phantom 2 because it had no battery, it just dropped into the water, he never got it back. So these things right now with all the GPS, IPS, FIFA, NHL and all the sensors and stuff that you have, it's nearly, nearly impossible to crash a drone. And Overall, they do last long enough. I have still a Phantom 3 here, more than three, three, almost four years old, and they fly, they work, so you just can rely on them. It's gonna be really hard that you crash them or that it just falls from the sky, even though I've seen some cases. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. We really hope that you like this video. We do like this kind of videos that create discussion, and in the past, we've had some videos that really have been, you know, good for people fighting. We don't want fights, we just want discussion and good arguments and we're gonna answer them. And we have fun doing that. We do not have fun when it gets like personal and ugly, so we don't answer that. But overall, we are very happy with this kind of videos. Let us know what you think about what we just said, if the drone industry is becoming stagnant as we said, and nothing really else to say. Leave the thumb also for Chibo on the camera and subscribe if you're not. Nothing really else to say. Always remember to keep calm and talk to you again.